Okay, so it's the 21st of February 2015 and we are trying to recreate Dr. Emoto's rice experiment. Um, we've tried to take out as many anomalies as we can, be sort of scientific and fair as possible, because we want to know if this works, that we did all we could and that it was right. So, we've chosen three identical glasses, uh, glass jars, we've cleaned them in the same water with the same amount Clean of and dry. Like, bubbles. Uh, they've been dried the same, we've done the labels, as identical as we can to the point where you've only really got the first three letters of love and hate that are different even the e's and everything are lined up we've also got a blank label so that if there's any like blockage of sunlight or anything like that that's all going to be identical we've done the rice in the pan um, and we've stirred it and we've added cold water to it to try and make it cold so that if there's any hot pockets or any steam that that won't transfer as much to the jars um, so we've yeah, so it's cold. It with cold water, so it's really cold at the moment. It's going in cold, and we, I'm going to put a spoonful into each jar at a time. And I'm, as I put it in, I'm actually going to speak to the jars I put it in. Um, but I'm going to put a, a couple into each jar, so I, so we're not taking one all out of one side so it's getting mixed up with the rice so we can make sure that's even as well so with this one I'm going to put that one in I'm going to say I love you <laughs> yes I think this is going to get easier as the time goes on Feel bad for the one on the end that's been ignored. It's not even joining in. I love you. Hate you. Okay. Is that all of it? Yeah, so they've all had what was that? They've two three. spoonfuls oh, each. Yeah. Well, we'll see on the video. <laughs> but also, I'm going to close this one up. I do love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate you. Okay, so this is day one, and we will monitor this and do our very best to make this fair um, and see what happens in 30 days' time. So we've actually moved the rice. They were in their place for about five minutes um, and we've moved them out here into kind of an outhouse um, side room. Um, basically because we realised that they're on top of the microwave and we figured the microwave <laughs> might actually interfere with the experiment somewhat. So we've moved them out here um, and we've both spoken to them again and that's it. Okay, so we are 16 days into the experiment. It is March the 8th. Um, we've pulled out our rice jars. We've had them outside in quite a cold room. Um, as you can see on some of them, they've got the condensation and things on them. So we've decided that we're, we might move them in. Um, we've been making sure that at least one of us goes out and speaks to them. We think possibly that we've both been doing it every day, but we're not quite sure. Um, so we've got the I love you. We've got the I hate you. And the poor ignored one on the end. At first glance, we didn't really think much had happened. Um, hence one of the reasons why we wanted to move them in, sort of speed it up or see if we could affect it in some way. However, we've had a good look now. Um, the I love you jar. Hang on a minute, if we lift things a little bit more, there we go. Um, we've got a little bit stopped there. You can see right in the centre there, we've got a little bit of, almost like a little yellow hot spot there. Um, essentially not a lot. 
but it looks like it's going up as a slightly yellow which is I love you and then I hate you has got you can see pretty clearly in the middle I think it's still there it's got a orangey bit orangey red towards the back um, on the I hate you that's yeah. brown and then the last one has got again sort of nothing except a bit of green mold there more the sort of more horrible looking mold of all of them I'd say but yeah and it looks in the middle in there look if you look through it. yes I thought that like a sort of dark spot yeah it's like there's probably mold mm. underneath if you dig yeah. it over yeah. it probably will be underneath so we have definitely got results uh what will happen in another what, 14 days time <laughs> um we'll wait and see um but yeah exciting so far Okay, so we have finished our rice experiment. Uh, 30 days, I believe, exactly, to the date. Um, we've managed to keep it up. Well, I certainly have. You <laughs> um, have. I, I think it. if I've missed it at all, <clears throat> um, it's been spoken to once a day. So I would go in and say, I love you with intent for that I love you one. I hate you with intent for that I hate you. And then we would ignore the last one completely. Um, yeah, like I said, I think if we've missed it, I've probably missed maybe one, maximum two days out of the whole thing. So it's had it's certainly had a consistent um, speaking to. It's also been in the same place. We were going to take it out and remove it from the um, from the sort of colder area that we put it in. However, we had noticed that they'd already started to change, so we figured we might as well. There was we could see a reaction, couldn't we? Yeah. So we decided to leave it where it was. Um, so yeah, these are our results. We have. I love you which is a hold up. We've got a little bit of sort of orangey colored underneath. There is one small bit of green there. But otherwise, as you can see, it is pretty white. So that's I love you. I hate you. Looks like it's been bleeding. It's gone orangey, it's, it's ready, ready brown, pinky brown, and all the way around. Yeah, what's it like underneath? Look, oh yeah, completely very different against each other. Yeah, hold the two bottoms up together side by side. Like I said, there is definitely something in the I Love You one, but they've all got yellow, and we've decided as well. They've all definitely had some sort of yeah, yellow they've decay. Decayed, but. Um, quite obviously, this one's had a different kind of reaction, which is exciting. Um, and then the last one. And then the last one's the most the exciting. Poor ignored one. <laughs> which is that one. Which Ugh. is disgusting. Proper it's gone green completely mould. mouldy. Look at that. And it's smelly. Yeah, they have all smell it's a little really bit. It's really smelly. They can't make out which one is which. It's probably a little bit more. I think they're all escaping a bit. Uh, they've all got bit. condensation in them as well, which we figured means obviously they've had either some sort of some sort of reaction in there or maybe a little bit of air because we were worried because we could smell it. We figured one might be leaking, but the fact that all of them have got it means that even that variable is the same. <laughs> and um, I think this one is probably smelling slightly more because obviously it has gone mouldier. For some mm. reason, mm. however, there is a smell coming from both of them, so there is they aren't completely <laughs> airtight. But we thought maybe you know that the reactions could mm. have been because the um, you know, one had got more air in it, the seal had gone or whatever. But I don't believe so. They're looking at the, the amount thing. of condensation yeah. and stuff on it, I think they are exactly the same, yeah. and they're just emanating some smell because of how badly they've decayed. I think mm. is, the, is the truth. Mm. So in the conclusion, yeah, yeah, much to my absolute shock, because I poo hooed it and didn't think that it was going to work at all. Mm. I I think it goes without saying, you know, that one. I'll get in the picture there. That one is not bad. Not for thirty bad. days. For thirty days. That is quite a while for wet rice. rice. Yes. Yeah. And then that one, you know. The yeah. difference is yeah. uncanny. Yeah. And then, you know, to have them sit side by side. Yeah. Same amount of light, same amount of warmth or cold or something. And moisture, everything. To me, you know, 
that is something speaks for itself. Speaks for so itself. in conclusion, we've decided that we're going to try and have more happy words. <laughs> yeah. And say nice things to each other more because every day you don't want to be read like this one, and they certainly don't want to be ignored and green like this one. So, yeah. Well done, Doctor Emoto.